Let's try this again, shall we? I literally just went to record this episode, but out of nowhere, uh, stupid mouse, get out of my way. OBS just decided to stop recording. I didn't tell it to stop recording. It just stopped recording. I don't fucking know why. I'm extremely pissed off right now. I was a little I was a lot more laid back when I initially recorded this because this game I mean these areas aren't that difficult for the most part. But now I am just pissed. I never clicked to stop recording, it just stopped. And I have no idea why. Oh, actually, I think I might know what caused it. I had to adjust something in Audacity when I started recording, because for whatever reason, Audacity keeps putting my microphone volume settings at halfway when I never tell it to do so. It's like, I put it at all the way up, and it keeps adjusting it without my say-so. And it's like, would you stop? You're getting on my nerves. And because I was clicked outside of the window, uh, I wasn't controlling the game, and I was pressing buttons on my Steam controller, which is configured for desktop settings, and I must have hit a button that was like a hotkey for OBS to stop recording. I, that's, that's the best guess I have as to what happened. Ah, oh. so I gotta do this shit again. Thankfully, this is one of the easier Jazz Jackrabbit episodes, or whatever, as the game calls them. <sighs> I'm just pissed off that I literally just got done recording, and then it's like, oh, you've gotta record it again, because... Like, literally all that got recorded was the episode select screen. And that was it. And I was like, are you serious? <sighs> so let's take two! Frickin' Scorpions! Maybe I'll get that secret level that I couldn't seem to get last time. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do a little bit more exploring. Ow, dag on it. I have never gotten this trash before. Well, now I know where the diamond for the bonus level is. Not that the bonus level means much of anything. <sighs> Be nice if I could find a carrot. Well, I fly now. Oh. Huh. That's actually not that far from the flying board. Uh, get me 
with some more goons. Not guns, but goons. I really like a carrot. I'd feel much safer with more health. Ooh! Asking, you shall receive indeed. Oh, hello! <laughs> Stupid twiddles. I better be near the end. Yep, I know I'm near the end when I see that. Uh, what's in through here? Stuff. Okay, you know what? I was going to try for that extra life over there, but... Nah. Okay, well, it's not a total loss. I showed more of the level than I initially did, so... Sure. So... When I initially did this, I was talking about how, um... During the last recording session... The only thing of mine that I... The only project of mine that I ended up recording was, uh, uh, one in one of Sparkster, but because we recorded it with Mark's new computer and we grossly, uh, we grossly underestimated what the settings should be for OBS, um, the bitrate got just destroyed in certain areas of the game, and it's like, yeah, I've posted some not so great quality episodes of other LPs before, like Xenoblade Chronicles and uh, Star Ocean Last Hope. But in those instances, like after the recording was already done, I had saved and then couldn't redo the. Like with Star Ocean, I could technically redo it if I had like a control save, but I wasn't in the practice of doing that at the time. Now I am in the practice of having, like, a control save, where if I, if something screws up, I can, like, back it up to that point. But, you know, I wasn't in the habit of doing that before. <coughs> and so it was like, once the save was made, it was like, that, that was it. It's also a lot harder to do control saves on the PS3 version of the game because of the way it saves. And with Xenoblade Chronicles X, you only have one save file. So, um, yeah. Well, one save file per profile, but it's just like, yeah, once, once that got compromised, that was just like, like, there wasn't really anything I could do other than replay the entire game, and that's something I only reserve for the most extreme of circumstances. But with a one-in-one, -one, it's like, A, um, well, we can redo the whole game. Oh, actually, I think this leads to... Aha! It does. Secret level... There's not really anything that can harm me here, and I can just get a whole bunch of goody goody gumdrops. Disease. Getting me a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah, in the last attempt at recording this, I had mentioned the secret level, but I didn't actually get it. I think I was even in the area where it was, but I was distracted by what I was talking about. I want more rocket launcher ammo. So, yeah, these are all the secret levels are. They're just... Well, I showed one secret level where it was like I was controlling hip-hop the whole time. And there was like a... kind of like a secret boss. But, uh... 
most secret levels aren't anything like that. Mm. Most of the secret levels are just collect a whole bunch of stuff. got 68% of the items, but ah, eh, well, who cares. I got poured up. Should try the toaster on some of these snowmen. Melt the snowmen with my fire weapon, yes! What was the point of coming up here? I have Absolutely no idea, unless you're going for a hundred percent completion. And this I still absolutely hate. I hate the placement of that spring. Ah, dang on it. That spring control you and have you stuck in like an infinite loop. Especially if you want to keep your invincibility. Or even go for it in the first place. You have to jump over the stupid spring. Ah, dag on you. Dag on you. Hooray! Ah, don't you dare... You wouldn't give me the carrot, now would you? Uh... Ooh, carrots! That stupid snowman! Mmm, carrots! idle animation of him freezing. Nice attention to detail. I keep sliding into slow men. Let's use the TNT to clear the way. Um, I meant to jump, but okay. Got that again. Ah, oh, so jumping wouldn't have done anything for me. I need this last one, and boom, dune! Level Clard! A Clard de Level! And. Oh, you get 30 gems. It's a little bit different, but it's the same background. It's a shoddy. Ow. Oh, there's like snowfields in between. Oh, that's... I didn't realize that. Yeah. I seriously think they only put these in here because Sonic had something like this, but, you know, Sonic actually had a point to them. Getting Chaos Emeralds, which gave you a good ending, or Super Sonic and a good ending. Because Jazz doesn't have equivalents to either of those. They're just 
here, and they give you an extra life, which, again, isn't something that's that hard to come across. Plus, you have infinite continues, which... The continue doesn't put you at the same place a lost life would, but... Still, you have infinite continues. So... I, I just never saw the point of those other than just being little cool bonus things. If they gave you, like, I don't know, permanent power-ups or something that you could carry on and keep even after you die, that would be, you know, that would be something. Like, a permanent, uh, jump height increase or something. Speaking of jump height, I still don't understand how these bouncy flowers work. Like... I just, I don't get those. If somebody, if somebody knows how to use those, tell me in a comment and I'll pin the, co uh, like, I'll test it out for myself. And if what you say, if I can verify what you say actually works, I will pin the comment. Because I don't have the foggiest. If they just bounce you indefinitely, or if they, like... If there's, like, actually something you're supposed to do with them that I'm missing. Because the game clearly doesn't tell you, and the closest thing the game has to a manual doesn't really mention them. There's, as far as I know, specific to this level in particular. So, like, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get those invincibility items over there. It seems like it's impossible to reach. <sighs> Plums. Lumity dums uh, I am one hit away from doing, which is something I don't want to do. Ah! Carrot. Good. Dag on you! Whoa! Ha oh. ha ha ha! one has a uh, different music. Oh, if I remember correctly, um, Tech Gun, stop running into things. I was looking for the rapid fires in this level, but I seem to have passed them. something, but no, it was nothing. Two... Yeah, oh, almost got impaled on them bamboozles. I almost got bamboozled. I swear these look like something that I could climb or whatever, but as far as I know... Doesn't seem like you can grab onto them. Ah. I could keep seeing that stupid slug with a jetpack. Or snail with it. No, wait. Slug. Yeah, it's a slug because it doesn't have a shell. Ah. 
I would like this level to end, please. Not because it's a bad level or anything, but just because, like, this is my second time doing this today while trying to record. And I would like to get on with doing other things. I keep using the RF missiles because they rise slightly in the air, so... Like, I keep hoping they'll hit something that my regular bullets would miss. Okay. I have no idea why it keeps saying that I killed only 20% of the enemies in this area. Like... Is there Like, I swear, I'm not missing anything. As far as I know, anyways. And this boss is fairly easy. You just stand on the ledge and fire... Like, I didn't even really need to use launchers. I could have just used normal attack, like normal blaster attacks. He would have jumped into them. The launcher just makes it go a little bit faster because it deals more damage and it goes off the ledge and hits him while he's like down below your other gunshots. Devin is on the ropes. All right, Jazz has Devin Shell on the run. That's the second time I've read this today. Can we get a moveth on it? <laughs> oh no! It's an ice skating penguin! Quick! Bury him in snow and make his beak look like a carrot nose of a snowman. Keep it going. The three natural planets are toast. Jazz must start the search for the twin ships right away. Blah, I still messed up that line. Anyways, it looks like this actually got recorded for realsies, so I will see you next time. Okay, ooh, I beat my high score. What are you still watching for? Get out of here, bye, shoot.